Hello and welcome everybody, I'm One Proud Bavarian and you're watching the new series in Hearts of Iron 4. It will be in the mod Red World. I'm by the way talking all the time right now because I don't know if this song is copyright secured and I don't want to get in any trouble because I'm a good capitalist. So I am trying to get the algorithm to not recognize it. Beyond that though, we are going to play the United Arab Republic aka Egypt because I was told that they were to have a pretty interesting scenario and uh, somebody wrote in a comment to Solaris, I think to the shameful <laughs> to the shameful loss in Solaris, that I should be either Italy or Egypt and bring down the commenter and the Soviet Union and all their puppets over here in the EU SSR I suppose. I decided against Italy simply because I've done some playthroughs with Italy and I don't know I don't find them all that interesting because their government ship is fairly peaceful and then they're just shifted but Egypt appears to have an interesting war here with the Syrians and I'm interested in finding out what is going on I also know that there's going to be a big war here we're going to play with historical AI foci simply because why you know why not right uh, I don't know what the mod intends to be the right choice here to be the right thing going on but we're going to do that and we're going to do Iron Man mode as well. And with that, let's just start the game right now. Alright, so let's get into the game first of all by getting our division set up. I don't even know if it's important. Let's just say it is. For the moment, you are the Egyptian divisions and you are the Syrian divisions. I can do focus and this focus tree is extremely interesting. So Arab Civil War, I already know what's coming for us here. It's going to be the... Uh, Egypt, Egyptians against the Syrians and after that we can decide what political tree we want to go down. I don't want to go down freedom for the family, the Assads can suck it. I want to see the family fall in and afterwards we're going to go one of these paths. I'm currently tending towards Islamic Socialism because Islamic Communism is the only right way to have Communism but we'll find out beyond that. Uh, here I'm not sure when it comes to persecuting Assad supporters or not doing that or focusing on Egypt or Syria. Not sure about that. We'll find out later. Don't forget the main goal of this campaign. I mean, let's just do foreign affairs, I suppose. The main goal of this campaign is to bring down the Soviet world order because only Islamic communism is real communism. All right, first, some military factories probably wouldn't be bad. Oh, we got to do everything ourselves here. I tried the mod a bit today and I think it's all right you know I uh, did some memes with the United Kingdom today and to be fair uh, it works quite well I suppose you know there's nothing that you can really complain about but build some destroyers it's also not entirely amazing what I mean by that is for example that uh, the UK gets to have a fascist dictatorship under Theresa May, and that's just such an incredible meme. Uh, to the In regards to the research trees, I've already noticed that they have the symbols of the modern day research trees, but they are not actually the modern day mod research trees. So they're not as stupidly complex for no reason whatsoever. They're fine, alright? Also, actually, let's put this over here. How's this apply down here? Uh... Not not good. Very bad, actually. We'll, we'll look into that later, alright? No template is currently using artillery. We will be using it in the future, so don't worry about it. Do I know when the Syrian war will start? <laughs> Absolutely not. I have no idea whatsoever. And now that I think about it, I actually want to... If I can secure the port line. I don't know, we might just automatically use, lose these units, you know? And uh, as soon as the war starts against Syria... But I have no clue. So what do I know about Red World if you don't know the mod? It's a mod in which communism under the Soviet Union has won the Cold War. For whatever reason, it's not detailed and it doesn't really need to be detailed. The economy, the Western world economy collapsed and with it the United States of America. And here you have now different factions, for example, the ultra-nationalist or conservative Southern American Republic, then the American People's Commonwealth led by uh, socialists, then the UAPR, I think, were just communists, akin to the communists over here in the Soviet Union. Yeah, it's the same ideology. 
And then you have some split republics like <laughs> Richard Spencer and some national conservatives, fascists, centrists, nationalists, liberals and moderate socialists. So some interesting stuff going on in uh, the America, Americas, but nothing really particularly catching my eye. I don't know. I never felt any interest in, in that kind of stuff. I don't think America is all that interesting, even in that mod. Because after you win, you're just done. You just kind of hang around. While in Eurasia and Africa, you just can always keep advancing. You can always keep doing things. And I think that's a beautiful... Oh, okay. Kind of a single general, huh? Is that how you're going to do me? This game is doing me dirty. Alright, so, I mean, I don't know. Let's hope that at some point, people are going to try to invade here. Yeah. Or not invade, try to take our land from us. Alright. Oh, there's a Kurdish, Kurdish Union state. Chapel of the Tablet destroyed. The Church of Our Lady Mar Mary of Sion has remained relatively hidden from the public for millennia. None have been allowed to enter, and even the socialist Ethiopian government has remained reluctant to enter due to possibly public outcry. Possible. This is all due to the rumor that its Chapel of the Tablet holds the famed Ark of the Covenant, but now apparently President Desalane no longer cares about public outcry as he recently ordered several construction teams to overrun the chapel, and if nothing was found, destroy it. Part of his phase one of removing religion from everyday Ethiopian life, the destruction of the chapel resulted in a somewhat expected discovery. The Ark, nowhere to be seen. Oh, look at Ethiopia with their fresh tree, Jesus Christ. That's incredible. That's a really good tree. Good. Yo, you can go back to Selassie, Haile Selassie, yeah? or his kid, I guess, I don't know. That's really nice. I, I like the Ethiopian tree. It's, you know, usually Egypt has no, there's nothing interesting going on here because neither are the countries interesting in, in themselves nor is anything else going on there interesting because all the resources that they have down there are kind of neglect. Oh, more resources down here than normal, huh? Oh, look at all these resources. Good God. An actual resource power can rise down there. I, I like that. All right, let's, let's wait a second here. Yeah. Yasuf is dead. Shaman Yasuf was attending a state tour to the recently opened European Liberation Museum. One of his supposedly loyal guards opened fire on the head of state, killing him almost instantly. As the rogue bodyguard, oh, there you go, was terminated by his colleagues, the other Politburo members rushed to Yasuf's side, only to see the bloody mess that was, uh, until that moment, the most powerful man in the world. Chief of the army, huh? El Sisi, we all know him. He's a real dude. Let me just quickly check something here. Antavi is the... Can I see somewhere? Uh, can I see somewhere? Okay. Mohammed Hussein Tantawi has resigned. Tantawi has resigned. That's you. El Sisi, Army Defense, Army Offense, and Army Offense. I think I want to go with Sobi. Uh, it is both up to the President and his closest military advisors to find a replacement for him as soon as possible, putting the Arab Army back on its tracks. A shortlist has been developed by these advisors who claim to be neutral in their decision making process but are known to have ties with certain generals. Abdel Fattah El Sisi is a prominent member of the military clique within Cairo. Mahmoud Hegazi was once considered as an option for defense minister, but Tantawi himself was chosen instead years before the motion to chief. Finally, Set Gisobi is viewed as a more stable and reliable option, being closely aligned to Sarafi's faction at every turn. Sharaf's faction, actually. So we are currently what? Socialists. Let's let's pick Sobi. We need we need a loyal man. Sobi it is, yeah, there you go. Plus, his bonus is pretty good. His attack bonus, that is. Desalane's faction wins convention. Alright, so he stays in power. The new chairman is Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Alright, Vladimir. Gaddafi's treasurer resigns. As fellow coalition members blast him at the colonel for a uh, revised economic plan, the heir's treasurer has just... Oh, uh, yeah, Arab Islamic Republic. Right, 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 right. All right, so Gaddafi is going towards a crisis in his country. 
Well, I wonder when Syria will try to to break th uh, free. I I never played this mod as the Arab nations. I always played a uh, Tunisian Communist Party purged. And Colonel Gaddafi, the head of state, urged his subordinate to officially ban and purge the Tunisian Communist Party. While the Libyan Communist Party remains the second largest political faction within the General's People, General People's Congress, its power is not legally binding within Tunisia under the treaties of 1974. The governor could easily have refused Gaddafi's demands, but the two's great friendship and cordial political relationship between Libya and Tunisia brought him to voluntarily accept. Oh, I see how it is. Princess Diana killed. Damn. Be dead. All right, what else is going on? Let's switch to uh, early mobilization. Sure. The sooner we get more civilian factories, the better. Princess Diana's funeral. You know what? We don't care about Christian nonsense. Get that out of here. Especially not the royals. What is this? Fucking Vogue. Look at you, nationalist. Huh? Emil Lachut. Twelve to seventeen units. You have quite a number of units, huh? Damn. Where did you get these from? How about you produce four, three times they spawn Alexandria? Uh, you'll be fine. Ah, Mustafa Abdul Khalil assassinated just over a week since a speech to thousands in Baida. Supreme Court judge Mustafa Abdul Khalil has been killed by a lone gunman. In the northeastern city, Khalil was supposed meeting with fellow men of law to discuss his re resignation from the powerful position until he met his assassin face to face a few blocks away. Is that in my country? <laughs> Who is that man? <laughs> uh, is, is, is that over here somewhere? I think it is. So my idea by the way is that we can keep this territory if there were to be a war over here. Hundreds of Libyan protesters killed. Ah, so it was Libya, huh? Not me. Oh yeah, Baida. There you go. It's become even more dire at this point. A very, very dire situation indeed. And I think we might have to clean that up in the future. Um, As far as I know, by the way, there's literally nothing interesting going on over here in Asia. Because none of these have any focus trees. What about you? Nope. Well, well, well. Where are you? Borneo. Just, just Borneo. Okay. May Day attack. The American People's Co Commonwealth has been attacked at the heart of its biggest city. 4-9 in the morning, a hijacked aircraft from Chicago collided with Tower 1 of the NEC, bringing with, its, with it a terrifying explosion of fire and debris. As New York's waking populace stood with shock and horror at the sight of jumping workers and flames engulfing every floor near the observation deck, it didn't take long for a second speeding jet to hit Tower 2. Alright, 2010. First May, at the Labor Day. The American's Commonwealth, or whatever it's called, American People's Commonwealth, has been attacked. May they find out who it was. Spain doesn't even have a tree, fair enough. Give me the Arab Civil War, though. Arab Islamic generals resign in a public unexpected announcement to the Libyan people. Hmm. So his generals resign. His judges resign. All branches are splitting from him. Bad, my dude. A previously unheard of far-right underground group in the Illinois and Indiana regions has claimed responsibility for 5-1. 5-1, what a stupid name. Reminds me of something, right? A... The White American Liberation Front proclaimed a new beginning for the Commonwealth. According to their masked leader, May Day's tragedy was just the beginning of a series of attacks against America and they would never stop until socialist rule was over. Intelligence agencies are scrambling to uncover more details about this group, but so far, efforts have proven fruitless. However, it is becoming increasingly clear that they could have direct connections to the Vermont... Vermont... Oh, Vermont? I actually have no idea how to pronounce it, by the way. The state of Vermont? Vermont? Vermont. Vermont, sure. Uh, that ended early this year. This is suspicion led to Governor Bernie Sanders. God damn it, Bernie! See, this is why Hillary tried to cheat you or did cheat you off your nomination. He will work with Philadelphia in any way that will result in the destruction of this repulsive organization. Bernie, why did you do this? Also, apparently, death of Gorbachev. Damn. Huh. In the city of Chicago. <laughs> he's like, he's like Trotsky 2.0. That, and then get uh, eliminated. 
Good night, sweet prince. Let me see. I don't want to do that yet. What about artillery? So I like that they keep the vanilla tree, which this is. Oh, Tunisia declares independence. Yeah, nationalists, I thought so. Shukri ibn Abu Bakr. Um, so, liberals invite the revolt. They state a new government is needed, one that will grant all Libyans to political and economic freedom they deserve. Sure thing, buddy. Mohammed Magariyaf. General Haftar revolts, only loyal... Where's he? He's over down here, I assume, yeah. Sure. So, the civil war in Libya is kicking off. Look at that mess. I, I want all these provinces. Benghazi Islamists revolt. Islamists. Islamist factions have begun to feel anger, blah, 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 blah. Okay, sure. Benghazi should be right here, yeah. They, they are. Abu Khalid al Madani. Even communist revolt. I mean, everybody should just revolt at this point. Libyan syndicalist revolt. Yeah, I mean, nothing speaks more of a true revolt when syndicalists and communists start fighting each other. All right, beautiful. Yeah, just keep going, honestly. The more you fight, the more I will be able... Ooh. Oh, get out of there. Stop that. Hey. Oh, wait, that is me. Don't worry about it then. All right, so, so here we are. This is our event. Basel? Is that supposed to be Bashar? Is Basel? Let me Google if Basel is like the name of the son of Bashar al-Assad. Or maybe the father or something? Basel al-Assad was a Syrian engineer. And the older brother of later President Bashar al-Assad. Okay, it's the brother. Leader of the Syrian Arab Socialist Union branch, Basel al-Assad, has just been assassinated on the streets of Damascus right over here. Damascus. After a small party conference downtown, the regional administrator was seen conversing with locals at a nearby street market when two gunshots knocked him to the ground. A young assailant was quickly apprehended by Assad's bodyguards, but by then, blood was already seeping out of two open wounds in his chest. As emergency services rushed away, air rushed him to the hospital, news broke to the Cairo government, where President Sharaf reportedly expressed deep concern about the ripple effect this could have in a fragile Syria. Just two hours later, Damascus City Hospital officially announced that Basel al-Assad, patriarch, patriarch of the prominent Syrian political family, had passed away, and that his relatives had already been informed. The entire republic, including the central government, remain in waiting as the regional government must appoint a successor to their beloved leader. While Basel was seen as cooperative and willing to work with any of Egypt's imminent factions, his likely successor and brother Bashar has in the past expressed significant discontent with the status quo. We can only hope that a more stable and qualified member of the Syrian Regional Assembly is given the top job. Well, just to make it clear, I'm sure that Bernie was behind this and we will absolutely resolve this issue. Syrian branch elects Bashar. Don't do that. Shah won by an unprecedented majority, securing support from even the most loyal allies of Cairo. Two hours later, he was sworn in as regional president of Syria by Hassan al-Anuri. Al-Nuri, sorry. Hmm. Listen. I know you're on Bernie's payroll, okay? Quickly, through the streets of our nation and even in the halls of power that Assam Sharaf himself orchestrated the assassination of Basel al-Assad. The late president's assailant was gunned down by bodyguards, so any testimony from the man himself that could counter these rumors is lost forever. According to anonymous sources within the government, Sharaf has become increasingly worried that this could cause unrest both within Syria and Egypt, as the assassination of a regional president by the head of state has never once occurred in our history, even when the two were bitter enemies. If any scrap of evidence comes out supporting this view, or a prominent politician expresses concerns that it could be true, the United Arab Republic could very well come crashing down on itself. In these times, we must tread very carefully. I will destroy you. If you keep spreading lies about me, listen, that's not what you do to the president, okay? Bashar al-Assad's view. Recently elected regional president Bashar al-Assad believes Issam Sharam assassinated his older brother. Get out of here. It was Bernie and you were on Bernie's payroll as well. Bernie, come here. Hey. Hey, listen, Bernie. Tell them that you paid them. Where, where are you? Hey. There you are. Bernie, come on. What? In a television interview with Canadian journalist Alex Jones from CTV, 
He stated that the rumours circulating around his nation must have some truth to them, and his belief members of Cairo's central government leaked reports to state journalists and around in other circles in an attempt to bring down Sharaf and release the truth to our people. Alex Jones pressed further as to whether al-Assad is considering radical options in response to Sharaf's supposed coup against Syria, but the president denied his administration is looking into those kinds of alternatives. Instead, Assad declared that he would work with interest groups to remove Hassan Sharaf from office in the hopes of restoring peace, stability and respect between the two Egyptian and Syrian nations. I will destroy you. Listen. Refugees arise in, arrive in Sicily. Nice. A bout of violence has erupted in the Syrian region today, with supporters of President al-Assad holding enormous rallies throughout the capital and other major cities. It didn't take long for these gatherings to result in clashes between opposition forces and local police. And sources at the scene reported to international media that bullets were used against the agitators. Yeah, get shot. Listen, if you serve Bernie, you get shot. That's just the way it is. No, I'm not. Listen. Bashar. Stop. Stop what you're doing. And just, like, think straight for a second, okay? Oh, Saddam. <laughs> of course he's still here. Attempt on Sharaf's life. An attempt has been made on the life of Egyptian President Assam Sharaf today. Meeting with members of both the Egyptian and Syrian governments, he was hoping to quell any rumors of his resignation and exit from politics altogether. Pick a side in the Arab crisis as some international observers are calling it. It's not a crisis, okay? It's just Bernie's paying off some people. And this is some trumped up trickle economics of fear. False flag. Bashar al-Assad has just made a televised uh, announcement to the Syrian people stating that he is certain the attempted assassination of President Sharaf was a false flag. Don't be an asshole. Whether this is the case or not, Assad's populists are beginning to rally behind him and believe every single word he says, with even stronger calls for some Sharaf's removal from office either through resignation or a decree from the National Assembly. Saad said little more in this address, only making a further point that he still believes in the values of our United Arab Republic and doesn't seek to bring it crashing down. That, he says, is the aim of Sharaf and his allies in Cairo. I think this man talks too much. At this point, I would be glad if we actually did assassinate him. It, like, I'll be honest with you, I get it's like all about, oh, you know, stuff, stuff like lies and such, but why would we kill the dude that was open to us so that he could be succeeded by Bashar al-Assad, who hates us. Come on, dude. Think a bit. Think a bit, okay? Think a bit. Supposedly furious that in the five days since his address to the Syrian people, not one politician in Cairo has called for Rashad al Sharaf's resignation or made any moves to support the new Damascus government. His first course of action today was, so, uh, was to immediately suspend his own membership in the Arab Socialist Union. Well, well, well. I see your true face, Bashar. Yeah, alright. This is definitely going towards the wall. What I'm going to do is... I'm just going to place all of you over here. So that in case of a war, I can just bring you over quickly. Who are we? Revolutionary Socialists. Police in Aleppo have initiated an unprecedented crackdown on pro-Assad protests in the northern city of Aleppo today. Uh, where... where what, what is Aleppo? We can't... I can't find Aleppo. Don't know. Maybe I'll learn it later. Maybe they. Maybe it's not on the map yet. I don't know. Um, police in Aleppo have initiated an unprecedented crackdown. Blah 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 blah. This will surely be just another issue in the mounting pressures on political figures to find a solution as soon as possible before horrific consequences become apparent. Well, I tell you what. Shah joins bath party. Oh, of course. How dare you? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, how dare you? Officially, this new Ba'ath party remains in a coalition with the Arab Socialist Union as a sign the leader supposedly still wants to remain a part of the United Arab Republic's political process, but many are beginning to suspect his far more sinister motives. I mean, uh, what else could it be, you know? It's one of those things. Bashar doesn't have anything good on his mind these days. Hey. Listen. Oh, we're paused. That's ex that's uh, definitely explains it. Mubarak arrests Assad. Let's go. General Hosni Mubarak has just placed President Assad under house arrest. Get arrested, you little bitch. And circling his home with loyal troops and demanding he remain until the crisis in Damascus can be resolved. 
International journalists are already reporting on a coup, but besides this arrest, uh, arrest, there has been no evidence to suggest that Mubarak or his allies are making any more moves to take control from the regional assembly or Assad's new Ba'ath party. Protests in the capital and even around the country escalated a few hours ago when news of the ar arrest was released as the list of supposed traitors to Syria increases. While Hosni Mubarak is relatively well known in Egypt, he is certainly seen as an outsider in the Syrian region. And any attempts to overthrow the Damascus government by a loyal Cairo military man are very likely to be crushed by popular revolt. Listen, I will crush you. That's just a fact, okay? Bashar's case, ah, Mubarak. Bashar al-Assad has escaped house arrest. Some cabinet members told President Sharaf that it is very likely he will seek out support from his allies. All right, bring it on, Bashar. This is this is going to be an all-out war. Mubarak killed by bodyguard. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Fair enough. He tried it, didn't succeed. Bashar declares Syrian independence. Less than a week after escaping house arrests and the wrath of Sharaf's military forces. Through back channels, the leader orchestrated an unprecedented secret, a lot of unprecedented things happening here today. Secret operation to alert allies to his presence and bring them all to the session of the dead of night. The, causing them to reportedly throw a lamp at the wall. Well, I will not. Listen. This is treason. I am not allowing this. Don't kick out my f forces. No, don't do that. No, 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 you stay here. Listen. All of you stay here. You remain here. Declare war on Syria. Thank you. No, you dare. Well. Oh, this is just very unfortunate. Uh... <laughs> Don't have a fleet, I suppose. That's my only child. I should have known that. I should have... I hoped I could, you know, keep him there and eventually... Just kind of overwhelm them with my forces there. But apparently, and obviously not. So, uh, here we are. Try an invasion over there. Right, yeah, we definitely have the transports. They don't have any ships, so we should be fine. In theory. A game theory. It's landing both, I suppose. I don't know. It's a strange predicament. Oh yeah, they just spawned down here. Ah, uh, I will end you, Bashar. Listen. Don't you have a focus tree? Goodness me. Siri actually has a goddamn focus tree. Well, I will take whatever they love. British Prime Minister assassinated, by the way. And I will destroy it. Alright, you're still standing here. Can't enter, though. Just leave, then. Yes. Right, is this already done? First of all, you give me naval supremacy right here. Oh, amazing, all the time. And then you guys go. Wow, that's a really quick naval invasion. Don't worry about it, then. Right, and we land, and we take it, and because of this, we are now in the offense, and I will assign everybody remaining here, first of all I will assign all of you, and then I will assign you with a separate order, of course, you attack over there, no, 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 that's the wrong order, this is the right order, I will assign you like this, right, let's go a bit Slow, let's see, do they have any planes? Because I'm not aware that they have any. They have zero planes. Do we have planes? We have zero planes. Okay, planeless fighting. This is like World War One, alright? Planes aren't a thing. What are planes? How long will it take you? Four days. That's a long ass time. Alright, everybody's coming over, so that's pretty good. Okay, this is still going fine. Let's bring him all over. If we get the second port, we will be so well off. That's all I can say, okay? 
See, there you go. This is just what I wanted. Let's not have them die. With any chance, we can avoid that. Why do you try to help over there? <sighs> I hate these naval invasions because they're always so close to you just straight up losing your units. Well, this is looking bad, isn't it? Yeah, why are, you, why are all of you walking? Listen, you can walk over there, alright? You really have to. Italy declares refugee crisis. Well, what can you say? It's a real crisis up in here. Alright, they're losing the battle now, which means that we will actually survive right here. And I will potentially, yeah, take al Khamakh right after. Which would be ideal. I only wish that they stopped attacking me. Alright, so this is the first war. It's against Syria. And we better win this band square. Right after this battle is over, we will go for Homs. There you go. Immediately walk into Homs. Kick him out of there. That's just how this works, okay? Could you stop attacking me from over there? Oh, that doesn't work anymore. Beautiful. Uh, what about... Oh, you can't do a counter-attack. Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth humiliated, expecting the House of Commons doors to be opened. Ooh, they locking her out. And because of that, they can go an interesting path. They're not going the Queen's path, as is now evident. They are going some kind of path. Now, I'm okay with this number going down as long as these are busy and can't refresh. I only, honestly, I really, really just want this number to stop existing. <laughs> I need these three units to stop attacking us. That's all I need. Um, I think next, give me some more military factories. I know, you know, maybe something else would be nice. Some uh, ships, maybe? Who knows? Alright, here you go. I want you to attack over there. Uh, what about the <laughs> nine of... Goddamn nine of you to go over there. And conquer Homs. There you go. Beautiful. And then cut him off. Cut him right off. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, of course, they have a S load of supply. Simply based on the fact that... Uh, they have all of these victory points over there. That give them supply, but at the same time, we'll be alright, okay? Because at this point, I think we got them. We got them in circle, they're quick, yep. <laughs> they just teleport pretty much at this point. Now, uh, these are cut off, as it is. Um, I need somebody to intervene, however. How about you do that? And as long as you are still walking, there you go. Now we're good to go. Right, beautiful. How about I send you in over there and you in over here? This is still completed, alright? We just cut him off here. And I think there's literally nothing over here, so I'm just gonna send you around. Have you seen how quickly these troops move? Jesus Christ. Is that allowed? Is that legal? Alright, we landed. Yeah, we got him. Okay, how about you just move in? Don't worry about it. This war's over. This war is already over. No, hey, I told you. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. 2010 artillery, that's fair enough. Uh, let's go with some mobile warfare doctrine, sure. I think tanks are going to be fairly important here. We don't have any planes, so we got to worry about that, you know. Syria is pretty much destroyed. Now, of course, pretty much isn't actually destroyed, so let's be a bit... Golan Heights, okay. How about you support that attack over there? And then everybody just goes in right here. He's still, he's still marching, that's fine. All of these are almost done, there you go. How about you just go in? Right. Now you go, and we conquer Damascus, we finish Bashar off, and he can suck it. Bashar al assad you can officially suck it. 
Right, easy war. You know, first episode, we're going to do probably like 40 minutes. Don't get used to it. I'm not going to do 40 minutes usually. It's more like 25 to 30. But for right now, let's finish the war. Let's kick out Bashar al-Assad as we should have done years ago. And uh, show him who's boss. It's it's me. It's uh, Assam Sharaf. That's right. We we'll just finish. Hmm. I'm just gonna attach all of you over here. We we'll just we we'll just wait, I suppose. Right there you go. Now how about you just attack over there to eradicate this one unit? Right, 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 right. Here we go. There you go, and now everybody just move in and absolutely devastate Damascus. It's time to destroy Damascus. Let's take a look quickly at Italy, appease Catholics. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. somebody's gonna arrest the uh, Communist Party. What are you doing? Are you going nationalist? Maybe we still might be. But you haven't done it yet. Don't know if don't know if you're gonna do it. Maybe. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I was, I think I was looking at like this, Putin's Russia. I, I was looking at this stuff. All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be very interesting. Uh, so far so good though. We're kicking out Bashar al-Assad as he deserves. Let's finish it. All right, three days, two days. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you end the Syrian civil war. Hey. ah, uh, What's going on over here anyway? The war's still raging. Sure. Peace Catholics. Nobody, none of these have any snap in action. Okay, Jeb Bush. Elected president. Jeb! Woo! Good old Jeb. I'll make some... I can't even pronounce the word, uh, some guac. He's gonna make some guac, all right. You get annexed. Hey. Said, you get annexed. Thank you. Let's go, we did it. Everybody's happy with the outcome here. Absolutely beautiful. Now you can go and sit around. I don't know why, but Lebanon kind of scares me. <laughs> why are there so many units there? It's Lebanon, come on. So we could now also go in none of these because we have to do Arab Civil War first and of course choose a faction, which we will do next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a fun first episode of Red World as the United Arab Republic. You want to see where it takes us? We will still try to take out the entirety of Europe because they don't deserve the first world. Doesn't know what real communism is. All right, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Share, like and subscribe if you did and see you later. Bye.